Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be doing a love reading for you today. How y'all doing? I missed you guys. Let's get into it. Two overall energies for the Scorpio. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel out. I greatly appreciate it. All right, two overall energies for the Scorpio. Let's see what we get. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we have the angel. So spiritual guidance, being protected, really connecting to into your spiritual team, elevating in your spirituality. I'm just feeling this energy of pro feeling protected at this time. Or seeking protection, like really, really praying. Somebody's been doing a lot of praying. All right, let's see what else we get for the Scorpio. Oh my gosh, okay. So we have the sunflower. Okay, we have the sun energy. I could be dealing with a masculine Scorpio right at this time. Um, and I told you, I mean, the sun energy, that's God's love. That's God's warmth. Everything grows towards the sun. Life on this planet wouldn't exist without the sun energy. So somebody is really connecting into spirit, really asking for guidance, asking for protection. I think somebody's been praying for like... I don't know for you know the sun energy is the happiest card in all tarot decks so somebody wants a change a, a change in the atmosphere somebody wants happiness joy and maybe somebody is feeling a little deprived of these energies but somebody's really praying for a positive outcome <laughs> and I think you're you're gonna get that, okay? Or you're calling in your soulmate, okay? You're calling in you're calling in a masculine energy. I just feel like somebody has like a an angel on their shoulder, an angel of protection. Let's read it. It says angel. Look at these cards. Beautiful. Beautiful sunflowers, beautiful angel. All right, angel, your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. Okay. Spiritual journey. Guiding and protecting. Okay. And then we have the sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. All right. So somebody has been in really working hard on... on overcoming to being the best version of themselves inside and out okay you know there's a lot of jackals in sheep's clothing out there that you know wear the holy roller costume on the outside and then the real devil on the inside okay but I think I don't know Somebody's giving a situation up to God. I'm feeling like Jesus take the wheel energy, okay? And somebody's being protected and steered in the right direction. Also, I'm getting the energy of somebody calling in their soulmate. And I think that there's a beautiful union that is about to open up. Something really beautiful that you don't see coming is about to be exposed is what I just felt right now. Okay. All right. Let's see what we get for Angel and the Sun. Like something, some sort of spiritual message, some sort of, like you're really embracing these energies, which is such a good thing. It's, it's giving somebody hope. That all things are possible at this time, okay? Angel and the sun for the Scorpio. All 
All right, we have, I know I said it. I, <laughs> I can be speaking with a masculine Scorpio. Okay, it says main male. All right. The sun is the masculine energy. The moon is the feminine energy, okay? All right. So we have the masculine here. All right. And now we have the happiest card in this deck come out. All right. All right. So somebody that felt like they were isolated, being held back, idling in the middle of the ocean, not knowing what to do. That anchor has been lifted and you're free to go. You're being spiritually guided somewhere. You have a real direction. You have a real purpose. And what's coming in, this blessing that's coming is is enormous. All right? That's just no little tugboat, paddle boat. That's, that's Yachty. That's young Yachty right there. And it's magnificent. It's beautiful. It's going to turn a lot of heads when it docks, okay? When it reaches its port. Everybody is going to admire this. Um... But something was like being held back. Also, there's like a change in locations, a change in homes, moving in somewhere that's better for you, okay? There's a big time change. It's ruled by the 36, three and the six. That's a nine, all right? And nine in this Kipper deck represents a change, a big change, a change in perspective, it represents, I know the chariot is in that picture, so a win, a victory. In order to win, in order to achieve a victory, you have to go where you've been guided to go. You've been, you have to be guided, like you've been called. You've been like spiritually called or, or you know, your spiritual team's trying to get your attention. Um, and maybe somebody was ignoring it or scared to go on this adventure that you've been divinely called to do, okay? Because I think you weren't trusting it or something got scary and you were waiting. Somebody was waiting for just the right time. But I feel like there's a, an actual location change that's really going to be for the best, okay? Something about the ocean, something about water, having to travel over water. So your happiness lies maybe in another town, another state, another country. I mean, it's in the air. So there's an air, you know, this would be an airplane. <laughs> okay. So you, you, and look at the wings here. So somebody's taking a flight somewhere. Somebody's traveling to where they're guided to go. Somebody's heeding the call and your spiritual team is very happy and they're they're trying to show you the way or show you like get the picture. <laughs> All right for the Scorpio. Something's been something or someone has been heavily on someone's mind. Okay. They've been eating, breathing and thinking about this situation, this person, place or thing. And that was spirit trying to guide you, trying to push you in the right direction. But somebody was being very stubborn and not taking action. But I feel like they're opening their wings to the situation. Like they're seeing the big picture now. They're seeing something very clearly. And now they're feeling comfortable taking action. Possibly towards the lovers. Probably towards the person they love. Alright. They are on the fence. So something about this relationship was divided. Okay. One, one person was on one side. The other person was on the other side. But in this picture they are together. They're embraced. And once this connection is made. They're never letting go. They are so loved. And they are so happy. And quite possibly. I mean, they've been brought together by spirit. There's two white doves here in the picture. So after this connection is made, the rest is history. I feel like somebody is in it for the long haul. I feel like somebody has marriage on their mind. These people know where they need to be. 
but there was some sort of blockage, some sort of break, some sort of something in the way before this was happening. Okay, before this anchor was lifted. All right. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's coming home. Somebody's coming home to their person. All right. Where's the Scorpio? All right. <laughs> Yo, I am that good. I said somebody's coming home. The Four of Wands is a home. It's a structure. <laughs> um, somebody's changing location. Somebody's uh, maybe looking for real estate elsewhere. Somebody is looking to move in together. Somebody, look at, I said, like, this looks like a yacht, like a houseboat. I said somebody's changing locations. Okay, they're in the same color scheme here. So... It's a four of wands. Four of wands means celebration, joy, happiness, engagement, marriage, starting a family, starting a new life somewhere with the person that you love. Okay, that's a four of wands. That's a twin flame. It's balance. It's good karma. All right. <laughs> Oh, here comes the love offer. Somebody is coming in with a love offer. Somebody's being presented the red rose. This offer is going to lead to a lifelong commitment. Somebody wants to dedicate themselves to someone. And take this to the Ten of Cups, okay? All right, let's get into this deck. Why is the angel here and the sun for the Scorpio? Like somebody wants, okay, something about legal documents I'm getting hit with right now. Something about some sort of paperwork. Where'd that come from? Maybe with like these two doves, I know that represents marriage. And then also... The four of wands represents marriage. So somebody wants to be, somebody wants to sign the contract. <laughs> okay, like I said, somebody wants to make this official. Okay. All right, for the Scorpio. All right, we have patience, manifest. <laughs> Manifestations are on the way. And here is the boat. Something is arriving. Something is coming forward. Something that's been guided by spirit. Look at two boats. Have patience. So, oh. This is the Angel of Temperance. This is why it's here. Angel of Temperance in traditional tarot is um, is an angel that are working out all the kinks on your behalf, all right, to for the highest good of all parties involved. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could have Sagittarius in your chart. You don't have to be. But that is why. Angel of Temperance. Okay. Yep. Oh my god, you all. <laughs> oh. Like, I need, like, my own. Uh, like, I don't know. Maybe I need to be signed. Okay, here we go with another angel. <laughs> okay. Ask your angels. Seek the divine. Seek the divine. Your angels want to support you. I said that first. I know I did rewind it. I said all of that first. And it's just confirming what I said. Okay? So, i read it again. Ask your angels. Seek the divine. Your angels want to support you. You will be given guidance on how to lift that anchor so you can move about freely, so that you can alleviate a situation. 
There's something that needs to be exposed. The truth needs to be spoken. Whatever that is, is probably very difficult. So somebody is like not doing what they've been guided to do because it's hard. All right, let's see what else. Also, if you're being drawn or called towards a person, um, somebody's holding back too out of fear. It's like somebody who's allowing fear to make the decisions for them. But somebody's been spiritually guided out of that energy because it's not serving them. It's making them stagnant. It's, it's like a ball and chain. So somebody's just left in their thoughts to fester in their mind, to fester in their thoughts. And um, it's clouding somebody's judgment. It's making them think more negatively than positively. Okay. When the outcome is really joy and happiness. <laughs> but somebody's clouding their own judgment and can't see it. <clears throat> All right. For the Scorpio. Moving up. Someone signed me. All right. I need a contract for my own... Um, for prime time here okay it says moving on <laughs> endings that bring healthy beginnings and this person is traveling this person is moving okay from one location to the other somebody's moving on somebody could be that could have been the ball and chain too i hate to say it that way somebody's moving out of a relationship to be with someone that they love but it was just hard to separate okay here we are, somebody's moving on, moving to the four of wands. It's here again. This is a bride and groom, if you can't see it, it's a little. Here's the bride, the groom is right here, okay. But their backs are turned also. But here it is again, right? So, so somebody's buying a new house, somebody's moving locations, and I told you, somebody's moving on. Look at that. Okay, so this is thir three times, like, okay, yeah. Okay, more for the Scorpio. <laughs> Keeping a promise. Keeping a promise. Okay, so this relationship, this love was promised and it's, a, and it's manifesting, it's, it's coming together. There's two angels here. These are two souls that are meant to unite in this lifetime, okay? The lovers, look at these two angel birds, the two white doves, yo, it just keeps on repeating. You see all that. There it goes. <laughs> all right, more for the Scorpio. Okay, red lipstick stains. Oh, uh oh. All right, bad choices. Oh no. <laughs> Check yourself. Oh boy. Okay. All right. So, red lipstick stains, bad choices, and check yourself. Okay. So, somebody didn't want to get out of their bachelor or bachelorette ways. They've been called to who their soulmate is. Um, But it was really hard to detach from that single life, that single um, mentality. I think um, idling so long in this energy was a bad, it was a mistake. And somebody had to do some self-reflection with check yourself. <laughs> um, because 
this energy wasn't working out in your favor anyways. I think this energy was causing more problems, more delays. More bad choices, more problems, right? Okay, let's go for the Scorpio. All right, past life connection. Someone with heavy influence from a past life is with you. So I told you that this could be a past life connection, that you're in love with somebody that seems so familiar to you because you've loved them before. Um, oh my God. And I know I said, yo, who wants to find me an agent? Okay. I need my own show. I need some contracts. I need the bag. All right. I'm going to read what that fucking says. But all right. What did I just say here? What does this say? past life connection someone with heavy influence from a past life is with you okay and also what did i say about your spiritual team your spiritual team um, is protecting you at this time and trying to, to um, guide you to a better way and your prayers are being listened to your prayers are being answered but you're not heeding the message you're not paying attention to the signs and signal um, synchronicities instead you're causing more problems by making bad choices <laughs> okay and let me read you because I know I've said this spread your wings confidence that leads to freedom and growth okay <laughs> another one for the Scorpio and we're gonna start wrapping this up here whoa two wanted to come out all right divine timing oh my god i know i said that too the angel of temperance is divine timing working everything out so things run smoothly for all parties involved Everything that you're asking for is coming to you in divine timing when God thinks that you're ready. Okay? So things that are for the higher good. So you don't create any more conflict or problems. So you can enjoy the moments fully in happiness and joy. It says divine timing. Everything has a higher purpose. It says retreat, time spent alone, reflection on past and current situations. All right. So somebody was trapped in their head and their own ways. That is why the anchor was here. Somebody was like in a prison of their own making and not allowing themselves to move forward because all this worry, all this conflict, all this confusion, um, you know, some bad choices kept somebody stuck and idolizing in like this cesspool of regret and self-reflection but maybe it had to happen this way so you can work out the kinks all right and make better choices and decisions for yourself all right scorpio you're on the right path you're seeing things clearly now okay <laughs> you're seeing things clearly and your future looks really, really beautiful with the sunflowers. Like things are opening up. These sunflowers take all summer to open up. And they, they don't even open. They start opening up towards, you know, the fall season. Okay. They need a lot of love, nurturing, and caring. They need a lot of sunlight. So it's a long road. It's okay. <laughs> All right, for the Scorpio. Whoa, whoa, okay, damn. I'm holding this upside down, aren't I? Yeah, okay. All right, it says heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. All right, so somebody's ready to open up, speak their truth. The truth shall set you free. 
in a matter of love, in a matter of career, business, whatever it is. Okay, it says release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. All right, for the Scorpio. All right, <laughs> you deserve love. You are lovable and Cupid is about to strike. And you don't see it coming, but that's the way that Cupid had to work. Because I think I'm speaking with a little control freak here. <laughs> so as soon as you step out that door, okay, when you're like at a social gathering or someplace social where you can intermingle with others, <laughs> Cupid will be waiting, ready to strike that arrow. The arrow of love. Okay. <laughs> You're on somebody's radar. Okay. And it says healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. So there was some inner trauma. Some inner wounds that needed to be addressed. That needed to be nurtured. You know. I could use the word healed, but I don't think when um, we never fully recover 100% from those deep wounds, okay? We could just love them and address them and nurture them when they get triggered, okay? How you deal with that conflict, how you deal with that pain, um, use a more positive method, you know? And I'm saying that because sometimes people try to heal their pain with medication, with alcohol, with a lot of different things. And I think somebody's realizing that. Somebody's getting clarity on how to heal themselves a little better, address their trauma a little bit um, in a positive way. Okay. For the Scorpio. Okay. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal your past, <laughs> you experience more love in your present moments. I told you something was really affecting, I don't know. Somebody probably went through some sort of difficulty, something pretty harsh, and it was hard to recover from. So somebody went into isolation, and they were holding themselves back um, until they felt ready. But um, yeah, it was a whole thing here. But I feel like somebody is now realizing the correct way how to go about things and how to really tap into spirituality to help them, to heal them, to guide them, to lead them in a better direction. That made like all the difference. Okay, one more romance angel for the Scorpio. Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I know I just said all that shit too. Okay, what is the advice? I know I've been giving little drops of advice through this entire reading, but here we go. Final advice for the Scorpio. All right, the wounded warrior. Yep, okay. So the wounded warrior, this is, we're at the nine of wands. Okay, so putting down the burden, somebody's carrying way too much of everything, um, too, too heavy of a workload, too many obligations, too many responsibilities, and it's been taxing, plus dealing with their own inner turmoil. It's been a lot, okay? But um, it was all for your higher good. All right, the, whatever these this traumatic experiences of life has built a warrior for God. Okay, a warrior for this earth. Um, 
and it has really strengthened you, okay? So the, the wounded warrior faces a lot of battles, but there's another mission that you've been called to. So you're going to rise to the occasion and live to fight another day. All right, Scorpio, one more. Okay, I'm probably gonna leave it there. This is just reiterating everything else, so yeah. So, you're being um, brought back to life, facilitated by God's love, okay? Like I said, you're really, all these trials and tribulations really built some, someone with really great strength, some really great perseverance. And it's needed because I think that there's something that's going to be asked of you, okay? And it's going to take a lot of bravery and a lot of courage to heed the message and go for it. And I think that you're definitely on the right track, okay? Things are looking a lot better since you're receiving clarity and things are really going to start opening up and um, all this like... I'm just feeling like a flood of happiness and joy that you are kind of restricting yourself from for your own safety is really going to fall upon you in the very near future, like in the very next few months here. Something that's going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, and it's going to be a gift from the universe, okay? A gift from your loved ones in the spiritual realm. I'm going to leave it there for the Scorpio. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, till next time, baby dolls.